This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner Evans and Bo. They're competing and training, for, excuse me, first and second level dressage this year. We're working on our halt to backs. Good. So we don't mind at first if they're not square as long as he halts and stays quiet. He's actually stepping under better. Good boy. And stepping forward more willing. Because before he was kind of dancing off in the walk. So Susan and Bo have been partners for about five years now. In 2013 they placed fourth at the USDF National Finals in the training level amateur championships. He is halting better. His back end too. Now we're working on the back and our goal is for him to back up without pulling on the reins. That's much better. He's lost a lot of resistance in his front end. So his typical thing to back was to just drop his drop his head behind the vertical and pull on the reins as he kind of did a weird thing to go backwards and that's what we're working on. Is correcting that. You see she barely touches the rein. Yeah, nice. He settled down a lot in the halt. Back's a little crooked. Does he always back to the right? When he crooks, when it goes crooked, yeah. Okay, then you need to use shorter right rein and right more right leg. And that's the same with Darian. You find out which side he backs to, and that's the side you're going to support. You supple him more on that. Think of a leg yield with your leg and supple him with the leg on that side in your backup and that'll keep them straighter. That's all right. Steer his nose a little bit to the right and he'll back to the, wait, to the, yep, to the right and he'll back to the left. So it's like a boat. Whichever end his back end goes, point his head and neck the other way and that should turn his balance that direction. Good. And he's just a little stiff on the jaw right now, but it's better than what he was doing before. So that's all that matters because he'll get more points on not getting that resistance before he was uh, going into the halt and sticking his nose out a little bit. So we're just trying to teach him to go more from Susan's seat and leg now. And in the process, he's going to have moments where he doesn't look as connected as he could be. Turn his shoulder to the right. And he'll bet there. Feel that? So you're going to start isolating when he backs up. If it's straight, you're just going to move his shoulder over to see if you can get it straighter. And now we're working on getting him to back a little straighter. New camera. Take your time. Now feel which way his back ends. He's got the left hind back. So he likes to back to the right. So start by pointing his tail to the left. trying to get him to pick up his left hind. Just subtle. There. There. Good. Good. So in second level she has to do a trot into a halt. Into a trot. A trot into a halt into a backup and back into a trot again. And that's what she's working on right now. Again this is the beginning stages of getting it correct with him so it's not going to be as pretty as it will be. Horse and training progress. This is how they look. We don't edit our films at all. You're seeing real horses doing a real training progress. In fact, you can see this history of Susan and Bo for the last four years by going to our YouTube channel. Good. That was much straighter. Good. Good. Much better backups. He's lost a lot of that strange stuff he was doing in the front end. Good. Good. Are you ready to warm up at the canter? All right. 